Hello everybody, this is Rick Ray and I'm one of the leaders and mentors in the Crazy Foxes Marketing Group and I would like to show you how to import leads into your eResponder Pro in your GVO back office. So to do that you need to go to your uh, GVO back office at this URL gogvo.com forward slash affiliates and that will take you to your welcome page and then you click on the eResponder Pro icon and that takes you into the autoresponder. Okay, now once you're in the autoresponder, there are two places where you can import leads into your campaigns. The Subscribers tab and the Import Export tab. Be sure you have selected the correct campaign for which you want to import leads. Alright, I set up a warm market campaign a few days ago, so I'll use that uh, to show you how to import leads into that campaign. The first thing, you should be sure you have an opt-in message, because once you import subscribers, uh, your, your lead will immediately receive an opt-in message. So you want to have that ready to go first. Uh, here is my opt-in message, which I set up for the warm market campaign. And as these are people I know, I try to make it a little bit more personal. And I, it starts off a hello subscriber custom one that will insert the first name, all right, into the uh, body of the email. And I also have it so that it will uh, put the first name into the subject line as well. And you can use those fields by just selecting the field that you want to use here and say so you wanted to do custom one that was your first name and then put your cursor here click go and that would insert that with the correct format so that the first name would be inserted or whichever custom field you had selected would be inserted into that area wherever you put your cursor All right, so my opt-in message says something like since you're already in my address book I'm inviting you to subscribe to my brand new internet marketing newsletter and I'm going to send you uh, an ebook um, Thank you very much in advance for doing that. To complete your subscription, simply click the link below. All right, and I inserted that from here. That's the activation URL. Okay, that one there. And if you choose not to subscribe, simply do nothing. Thank you. And I also ins inserted my uh, iKarma link, although the warm market campaign is people that I already know. So we're ready to import subscribers. We go to the subscribers tab and you'll see that in this window these are some of the subscribers I've started to import and all of them for the moment are uh, pending. No, nobody of these has, has yet uh, opted in to my warm market campaign. You'll have a list here as you put them in. You can edit their name and email address. You can send them an email directly or you can delete that particular subscriber from your campaign. <clears throat> now all of these sub tabs here under the subscriber tab, you can click on these at your leisure and have a look at them. They're all pretty self-explanatory as to what their function is. We want to select the add subscriber tab. That takes us to this window here and by default you will have the full name and the email box and you must complete the full name. It will not allow you to uh, add a subscriber without completing that even though you might have uh, added various custom fields uh, of your own. Okay, and you can do them manually so we'll set one up here as a sample. Show you how it works. And I'll go ahead and put uh, his name in my custom field there. All right, then you just add the subscriber. Okay, and there he is. Johnny Chu with the email address, and he's pending, and he has already been sent. Uh, and opt in the opt in message which I just showed you. All right, with my internet connection being a little bit slow. Oh, okay. And he's already been sent the message. There it is from me saying hello, Johnny. That's because I inserted the uh, 
a custom field with his name in the subject line and in the body of the message. Okay, there's the opt-in message that I just showed you. If you want to complete the subscription, he clicks on that. And what did we say we would do in the opt-in message? We said we would send him a free ebook. Okay, and even with a slow internet connection today, it's working pretty well. I tell you, when you have, if you have a fast internet connection, uh, this autoresponder in GVO it works like a, a brand new Japanese bullet train. It's really very fluid, uh, very fast. It works extremely well. So we'll go back to GVO and we'll re refresh this screen. And we should see that Johnny Chu has become, and there he is, been made active. Okay? So everything working as it should. That's how you import subscribers manually, one by one, into your autoresponder. And there is another place where you can import leads, and that is the Import Export tab. Now in this window, this is where you would use a .csv file if you had a list of 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 leads that you wanted to import. Uh, however, this function of the autoresponder is uh, deactivated by default and Joel has advised us, advised us all of that, that uh, this is not uh, usable or functional at the moment and that's uh, in order to avoid, uh, avoid problems with spam. So we don't know yet whether that will be uh, made uh, functional or available, be a feature that we can use. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But for the moment, as of the time I'm making this video, September the 27th, uh, this feature of the autoresponder is, is not, not working, okay? You cannot use this. But there is still a place in here where you can uh, invite subscribers. Click on that button, invite subscribers in the import-export section. And you can import leads from existing address books of your email program. If you have AOL, uh, Gmail, or Yahoo, and I have a Gmail address book that I will see if we can get the addresses from there. Okay, so now the autoresponder is going into my Gmail address book and pulling up all the names and addresses. And once it's completed that, then you have a section where you can uh, select all. You could deselect the ones. They're all they are all selected by default. You could click on none and deselect them and then select them manually if you want to do that and then you just click invite and that will add all of the subscribers that you want to to your autoresponder and then you go back to your subscribers and you would see that they had all been added here okay so that's how you import leads uh, into the eResponder Pro in your GVO back office. I hope that has answered your questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to Skype me on uh, RickRay2, that's R-I-C-K-R-A-Y number two, or just leave a message in the forum, or uh, Skype me in the Crazy Foxes uh, Skype chat. Okay, thank you very much for watching.